And we're back for more. It's mostly just side questing. The story ain't going nowhere. Of course. Look, everyone knows that, in, that imminent doom is never actually imminent. <laughs> Unless it is. Exactly. Which is usually when there's a timer. Exactly. And whenever there is, it's always. And you know, whenever it is. Every yeah. And of course, whenever it is imminent, it's always. And, it, and whenever there's a timer, it's always so helpfully plastered on the screen in big blaring letters that says, Hey, don't ignore me. Sounds about right. Not quite. It does still have a timer, but it's still an asshole in other ways. You'll see. What do we have here? Titanium. <coughs> what about here? A League of One medallion. Mm, not as important. Miss V. Worthington. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but it's a side quest, so I'm doing it. Biotic, biotic shotgun. Permission to come aboard. Eh, just kidding. Someone must have shut down all systems, except basic life support. There's dialogue for this. Hear that? We're not alone. Oh, good. I was a little lonely. <laughs> Somebody set that trap. This whole place could be wired. here a log they say Jacob's gone they say his brain isn't functioning anymore and they want to shut off his machines but Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me I don't know how to help him but it's tearing me up inside I just feel so helpless so damn angry dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down but I didn't take them I can't not until I figure out a way to help Jacob I won't give up on him I won't Oh boy, that sounds like a classic case of crazy. It's not so bad. That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. This body is nothing but an empty shell. Maybe we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. Your call, Commander. But maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. Good call. Mm. Good call. Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help, but I better warn the captain. Slow agonizing death or quick merciful kill, huh? Not so much slow as agonizing death so much as just keeping a dead man alive. Or just letting him fucking fuck! Letting him fucking rest. How exactly do you fucking fuck? Shut up. 
Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to. Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... Huh? Oh, look! <clears throat> well... Which quest was this? I don't know, but it seems to be over. That didn't... It's not that one, that's for sure. Oh, it's this one. Well... I guess we should let him rest. I suppose so. You did the right thing, Commander. Well, he agrees. Caden's got a conscience. Rex, on the other hand, couldn't give a shit. Well, maybe he could, but he's not going to tell anyone. Just to be safe. Oh, one of y'all found another one. I think we got him, Commander. Let's go. That's what I was actually here for. Yeah. We just forgot we were on a detour, huh? Yeah. Hmm, let's see what we have here. Ooh, a matriarch's writing. That's three. Hey. Some metal. Okay, what about this one? Cold hazard, of course. So the usual. Why does every planet hate me? Reasons. Down we go. more interested in the actual mission. No, I suppose. And I doubt they would put two writings from the matriarch in the same system or whatever. You know, I actually wouldn't put it past them. I don't know. You know, I would say one good thing about Andromeda, uh, since they brought back rover segments, uh, the person who did the um, terrain design was knew, realized that there are other brushes other than, you know, the noise brush. <laughs> yes, it really annoys me that much. Mako, fun! Mako, fun! The terrain, it's, you, terrain you have to, have to use it in. Not fun. Oh, 
lot of bodies. I'm on my way. Nothing in here. Yeah, that's not south right. Nothing in here either. There's literally nothing but that crate. Huh. So I beat this up though. Oh, what do we have here? Fuel tank. I saw something else. Oh, hello there. Yeah, that's good nice. Loot. I'll always say yes to more hard decryption. Uh, well, actually, that's kind of easy. And just because. Well, it's a little warmer. Just keep climbing, just keep climbing. Cause that's how physics works, everyone. Oh, right, Bethesda. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, since the Mako actually does have a Mass Effect core, it's entirely possible it could be screwing with its own physics. Yeah, maybe. Oh, well, specifically an Element Zero core, but same thing. No, there's no thrashers here. What did I say? Are there thrashers here? Can you imagine how cramped it is in this thing? Alright, look how small it is. Especially if you bring, you know, Rex along. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of surprised Rex can even fit in it. Fuck. Just let me climb the mountain. Still no new 
Centurion armor. In fact, all we have is human armor. No. God damn it. No. I gotta find the suit she had. There we go. So she had? Shut up. I know what I said. Okay. Let's give you, you know, a better rifle, Ash. Kind of important, that. Start the wrong button. There we go. Why the fuck are you using a pistol? Long laser. Uh, it's just. I don't know, I just saw like a big red line crossing the entire room. Yeah. It was just sniper stuff. Uh. That's basically how you know when there's a sniper on you. Since they're, you know, powerful. Yeah. Whack. And it's important to know when they're for. That's a one down, just one more to go. Yeah. Any That's loot lying around? Right? Well, if we weren't Max and Lamy Joe now, we probably are now. Another thing that is not missed at all, the constant need to backtrack. Yep. I hope there's less of that in Mass Effect. Oh, well. no, there isn't. 
Usually oh. you complete your objective and then immediately and then you immediately can leave. Nice. Yeah. It is. here, along with two other side quests. Oh! <clears throat> one at a time! Yeah. I mean, don't think there's much other way to do side quests here. If only. Right. Ooh! A writing! Active scans by survey ships have returned tantalizing indications of massive, solid structures deep within the atmosphere. <coughs> Too regular in pattern to be anything natural. Some believe Ploba to be it is a Jupiter brain, a planet-sized supercomputer. Adherents of this theory have fruitlessly beamed signals toward the sunken megastructure, hoping to get the machine's attention. Others believe that an ancient spacefaring race disp disposed of their weapons of war by dumping them into the planet. The last attempt to reach and salvage Ploba's deep anomalies went tragically wrong, and ended up with a crew of 12 being trapped and crushed in the gas giant's lower atmosphere. Well, what do y'all expect to happen? Oh, we've already been here. What about you? Anything? Indeed. Uranium. Just navigating the galaxy map alone gets a lot smoother in the later games. And hey, no, uh, no hazards. Exogeny core, apparently. Let's see what kind of whack stuff their, uh, their scientists get up to. Possibly, but don't answer that. <laughs> Turian wreckage, research base, excavation site, and a transmitter. All of those are actually interesting. No, not the Turian base. It's probably just a uh, uh, Turian insignia. I've confirmed really doesn't have any purpose later on, so I'm just gonna ignore it. Hmm. Just the Matriarch de Lunaga writings. It actually won't be difficult to finish at some point during this. Well, we've got what? Four now? Still need six more. Yeah. Bounce, 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 bounce. It should be difficult to figure out which ones we're missing. At the time we're at the point of not return or something. I wish I'd been keeping track of, you know, which ones I picked up. No, I can't ever feel like I've been here. We have the fuck. The fuck. Hmm. 
miss something? Look for the missing survey team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe we just missed something in the uh, excavation site. Maybe. down here I'm missing Just something. Oh, hello. I think we found something. Oh, hello. They go down a lot quicker now, though. Yeah, that's nice. I guess that's just because you were better than weapons. Yeah. That counts for all the survey team. All converted into husks by devices similar to those on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from the Geth is a mystery. Oh! All targets eliminated. Okay, loot! Free loot! Yay! Why don't fuck out this guy out of here? What a pleasant side trip! Let's never come back. Yeah. Fuck this place, man. Mercury, nothing interesting. Polonium. Worth noting. Hmm. I have no idea what we're being sent here for. But apparently someone's start stirring up trouble and only we can solve it. <clears throat> so the usual yeah, I was I was about to say as usual. Only having six squad mates kinda narrows your selection down, doesn't it? Yeah.
Oh boy! Thresher Mall! Right next to the science base! Oh, since it's right here, might as well take a look at what this anomalous signal is. Oh hey, matriarch riding. Oh hey. That's five up out of ten now, I think. Close to the transmitter, your comms pick up a recording. The wistful string quartet. You power the system down. Whoever lived here, they haven't been back for some time. The crates are covered in Choa's chalky dust, and the status lights on of the shack indicate its atmosphere ran out long ago. Another one! Huh. Oh, okay. I'm not complaining, there's less searching I have to do later. Yeah, me neither. That's. what, six now? <coughs> I think Matrix and Onaga decided to stay here for quite some time. So it would seem. That's what. Uh, sorry, writings. That's seven out of ten. Just need to find three more. Hey, Thanks. uh. You think you think she left a next address here? You know, Ford Two address. <laughs> Maybe. If only, right? <laughs> hey, it's a shame to waste good fuel. All right. Oh, I can just go around. Let's see. Place your bets. Does the place have turrets? And have they already turned them against us? Let's find out. Hmm, doesn't look like it. I am slightly disappointed. In we go. Check your tarts. Oh god, this. That sounds annoying. Yeah, no, they're just gonna. The um, non combatants are just gonna walk around like nothing's going on. Uh, how do I tell you, tell you guys to stay put? Because that's probably for the best. Right arrow key. Stay. Yeah, he's just walking right on by. Curious. That one's not just walking. Go, go, go! I'm on it. I think they have a biotic 
They're all biotics. Oh, uh, fair enough. I really just got stun locked. Yep. That is such bullshit. Well, at least we don't go go back far. I think what I would do instead is kind of the same thing, except instead of just standing there, I'm gonna draw our attention and run back to Rex and Liara. You know, just funnel them into a kill zone away from the scientists. That might work better. But first things first, get all these nice writings. You ever wonder what these writings are about? No? Okay. And then maybe. <laughs> I'm mildly curious, because, you know, she kind of just left them scattered around. Yeah. Maybe she let them walk in those few moments of clarity or something. A few moments of clarity? You're implying she's insane? Wait. This is Matriarch Della Naga, not, Ma not Matriarch Venezia. Um, Very much derp. All right, and next time we'll be diving into that shithole again. Yeah. <laughs>